What's up guys? You're watching Reaction Time. All right guys, I have my volleyball jersey on, 27. I chose this number because that's the day of my birthday. The reason I have my jersey on is because today's a special episode. We're gonna be watching How to Be a Volleyball Player by I Fucking Hate That. Yeah, that's that's the channel name, I-F-H-T. Since I play volleyball, uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch it. By the way, I have full permission to use this video. Hello, my name's Tall Fishman, blah, 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 blah. Can I get your permission to react to your video, How to Be a Volleyball Player? Hey, Tall. Thanks for the note. Sorry for the delay. You may react to the video. Let's go. We're gonna get it right into it. Let's do this. How to be a volleyball player. Yes! Follow these steps and you too can be yes! a Step one, decide what kind of volleyball you want to play. If you like spandex, play indoor volleyball. Whoa. If you like bikinis, consider beach volleyball. Step oh, that's actually insane, guys. For those of you that don't know, they're both a form of volleyball, outdoor and indoor. But outdoor, and indoor are like the opposite sides of the spectrum. Like I'm not even kidding. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, let's say you can jump really high at indoor volleyball and you're really good. Try playing outdoor in the sand. You're not gonna have any vert. Vert is how high you jump basically. The sand just completely ruins how high you can jump. It's crazy. It's like you need to have the most powerful legs to play outdoor volleyball. It's a lot harder than indoor. Indoor volleyball is a great way to start. Step two, buy a pair of volleyball shoes. Oh, those are nice Mizuno. I love Mizuno. That's what I have right and now. Don't even think about wearing ankle socks unless you want to look like unathletic garbage. That's if you're true. Knee pads are optional. Gotta wear these, baby. Might think you're a sissy. Step three, even if you think you don't need them, buy a pair of ankle braces. Not only will they protect your ankles from sprains, but they will make you look like a pro. Actually, like destroyed my ankles playing volleyball. Been wearing ankle brace. I regretted it so much. Ever since then, I wear ankle braces, guys. That's a great tip. Always wear ankle braces. Because if not, you're probably going to destroy your ankles at one point or another. Step four, learn how to bump or pass the ball. If you can't pass, you can't play. Don't worry about those burning red forearms. You'll get used to it. Yeah, those Step actually five, go away after a few weeks if you play. Ball, and don't be creeped out if someone compliments your hands. Wow, man. You have really nice hands. <laughs> Step six, learn <laughs> Are they soft, though? Let me feel them, are they soft? I've never had anyone compliment my hands. Spike or hit the ball. Ooh, Practice jump sir! Your approach, your swing. Never mind, he's hitting. Your timing. Step seven. Get to know that the happens to me. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. The ball. Middle, the taller guy who hits the ball. Back row, the defensive players. And setter, the one who blames their team for everything. You expect me to get that? The one who blames their team for everything. Step eight. Learn what a libero that's, is and choose. I mean, that's kind of true. Libero, 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 or libero. No matter what you choose, you will always be wrong. Step nine. Know what kind of volleyball player you are. The noob. The one who is too loud. That's me. I, I, I'm the one that's too loud. I just get really into the game. I'm really competitive. I mean, it's better than being too quiet because volleyball, you need to talk it up. If you don't speak up, you're probably going to collide with other people or you're not going to get the ball because you got to communicate with your teammates. The one who is super tall but can't jump. The one oh, who God. everything. Oh, the God, that's also... Has an excuse. <laughs> Damn it! The one who rides the bench. The one who takes it too seriously. That's also me, fuck. The one who never fuck. shows up to practice. Or the guy with the weird serve routine. Alright, bro. Just sing some kumbaya. Step 10. Learn volleyball jargon such as the following. Spike, set, tool, kill, float, line, pipe, seam, ace, dig, free, roof, pokey, pepper, What's touch, roof? tip, shank, Oh, roof when it hits Learn the roof. Set up a right. volleyball net. And don't forget to carefully release the crank when there's tension on it, unless you want this to happen. How'd you hurt your hand? Oh, I heard it in volleyball. Oh, did you fall? No, I was just setting up the net. Step 12. <laughs> How'd you hurt your hand? Like, did you fall on it or something? Were you doing parkour and you, like, tripped? No, man, I, I was just... I was setting up the net. The worst thing that happened to me when I was setting up the net is the pole. It wasn't locked in. It was supposed to be locked in with a screw. And the whole thing just fell over. No one got hurt, but it made a dent in the hardwood floor. And the coach started yelling at me. Even though it wasn't my fault. But, I mean, I should have been more careful. Calling for the ball. If you don't call mine, this might happen. Yeah, exactly. But even if you do call the ball, this might You gotta might be careful. Happen. Step 13. If you're a dude, get used to people making fun of you. Volleyball? Oh Is my that god, that's so relatable. Why don't you play a real sport? Bruh! Bruh! 
<laughs> You're playing ping pong. Oh my god, yeah, like volleyball players, the guys, they get a lot of hate. They get a lot of disrespect by football players. Baseball players too, they disrespect volleyball players a lot, a lot of times. But I mean, you guys should, they should just try it out. Like it's not the easiest sport. It's because it doesn't have physical contact with other, with the other team. I think that's why people kind of downgrade it for guys. And also because girls wear spandex when they play it. So if guys play the same sport, they're like, so you play that sport where girls wear spandex? To prevent or protect hand injuries, wrap your fingers with tape. Remember, there's no such thing as too much tape. Oh Step my god! Pay attention to where you should be what on the court the? at all times, or else this will happen. Wait a minute, guys. How do we screw up the rotation? Why are you there? I thought I was supposed to be where you are. Know the difference between a pancake and a pancake. Yeah. A six pack and a six pack. Step 17. Those are called six packs. Referee know. making bad calls. Ref, what the hell? That was in. What the fuck? Yeah, there's so many Step bad 18, volleyball refs. Oh face. my god. Sometimes you can get away with touching the ball without the ref noticing. No touch. Step 19. Pro rap everything. Step oh one. shit! As an outside hitter, no set is ever good enough. Can you set it higher? Set it just a little bit tighter. Okay, not so tight. <laughs> like, uh, Three point five. This guy had a little thing going on with the net over there. Split decision making. Get in the habit of calling balls in or out. In, 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 in. Just kidding. Step 22. You will experience the urge to use every ball as a volley. That is actually Some true in the like beginning. Special that happens when they in the beginning. Points. Know the difference between a girl's cheer. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Oh, I love that. Dude, I love that feeling so much. I think that's why I like this sport so much. When you're spiking and you get kills, it, it feels really good. Like, it feels better than dunking. It feels better than anything else. All right, guys. That was part of it. Link's gonna be down below. Go check out the video. Let them know reaction time sent you because they, they worked really hard on this video and it's amazing. It's really relatable. Any of you guys that play volleyball that are watching this right now, I'm sure you guys can relate. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.